In this video, we will take a look at how to add an Excel table to your AutoCAD drawings. Here I've already opened CAD and have a basic spreadsheet. Make sure you save your Excel spreadsheet. Then what you want to do is type in table into the command line. It'll bring up the box. You want to make sure that you click on the from a data link. Then go ahead, there's a little box that says launch the data link manager dialog. Click on that. Create a new Excel data link. Let's go ahead and call this one finish schedule. Okay. We want to go ahead and find a path for it. Example schedules. Then you want to make sure that you click to the range. It starts at A1, and the bottom right-hand corner is at G12. So A1 colon G12. Now hit OK. Wait for it to update. Now it's showing in the preview box. Hit OK. Specify an insertion point or go ahead and just click anywhere onto your drawing and bring it into your drawing. It brings it in really small. So depending on your drawing, you need to either scale it up or scale it down. And I'll show you a few tricks. So if you right click on, on directly on the table, you can make the size of the rows equal. You can also make the columns equal if you want to. I like to go ahead and stretch, stretch it out. I don't, um, in AutoCAD specifically, I don't like wrapping, which in Excel, I do like it when it wraps so that I can view it all on one line. But when this prints out on construction documents, I like to make sure that I just go ahead and stretch it out so that it all is in one line. And then you can also scale it so that the, the rows aren't as, they don't have as much empty space on them. So that, to me, that looks pretty good. Um, then if I want to go ahead and update the, the finish schedule, and I made a few changes to it, so let's go ahead and type in new date. We made some changes. Maybe these are squares. And hit file, save. Go back to AutoCAD. Right click on AutoCAD and go to update table data links. Now it has the new date and the new change. So what you wanna do is you always wanna check the date of your finished schedules on your Excel spreadsheet. Whenever you make changes, update the date so that, so that when you bring it into AutoCAD, you know that the new date is the most current and the latest and greatest. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do this one more time. I'm gonna bring in the paint schedule example. So what you wanna do is type in table again. from data link, click on launch the data link manager dialog box, create a new Excel data link. Let's go ahead and call this one paint schedule. Okay. Browse for the file. It's the same file. Now you want to link to a range. This one starts at A15 to G28. Hit OK. Wait for it to update. Hit OK again. Bring it in. Have it line up. And you can resize it to match this one so it looks better in your drawing. 
and you can also size the rows equally and give or take you can go ahead and stretch it always stretch from the corner if you stretch from this you're going to lose some rows they're going to disappear so you don't want to you don't want to do that unless you want to delete a row and then try to make it look like the one above as best as possible so say you want to go ahead and add another tile. Let's call this one example. And we're going to bring it in. Copy. And we're going to go ahead and paste it into all of these cells. And then we're going to go ahead and bring in, make it all borders, hit save, file save, and in order to get this updated, you're going to want to click data link up above. It's under the insert tab, data link, and we're updating the finish schedule. Click on it several times. it brings you to this box where you can go ahead and change it to G13. You're just adding another row. Okay. Okay. And okay. And there's your added row. I hope this has been pretty easy to follow along. Please follow me or subscribe to follow some more interior design content.